This guide is going to cover how to make the CC character creation icons in the toolkit so you no longer have the question mark. By default they will be the vanilla dark blackish grey background. You can edit the background texture to colour you want so it will show behind it and also the shader to affect how much uh, emission and contrast the actual thing has. Okay. So, oops, we are on help, all that one. Helper, 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 vignette. There we go. This will be in the description. So, if we want to override it, we need to override the texture resource with this uh, override in the active mod and then you want to delete this before packing your mod I mean it shouldn't do anything to people's games but it's just the thing that's best done keep the same structure yes then we click on this Now we give us a preview, yeah, with contrast and the emissive intensity. So we can all ride that in the active mod as well. This preview I won't be showing those edited, but I'm just showing you what files you can edit. So the texture resource will now be in your mods folder. So be generated I think. Let's have a look. Public, okay. Oh no, yeah, generated. Okay. And then our mod folder. So we would edit that in our editing program of choice and then save it. And then when we come to render the icons, it should use that. And then if we edit this, take these, put that to, call it, oops, let's call it two for now. Uh, contrast, put that to as well, apply, okay the contrast is a bit Apply. Okay. So it's showing the contrast of the texture. Then let's just make that free for an example. Yeah, okay. So I've already got items set up in this project because it is just about creating the icons. However, let's when creating head mods, we can actually define which default skin colour the CC icons use. And this is literally all this column is used for. It's for the rendering the icons. Okay. Project. Render CC icons. Yes. Switch to the level tab. So depending on your computer, this can take some time. Um, the few of us that have been testing this lately have roughly about five minutes wait. And it does generate an atlas, as we can see here, create atlas, um, because it, it does generate the icons for the vanilla assets as well at the moment. That is why it takes so long, but also that's why we do not want to use the atlas it creates. We want to use the temporary icons it creates in our editor folder. So if we go back to here, editor, temp, icon generator, which is already start seeing them. As you can see, the background's actually already brighter. So it's finished rendering, I've um, paused recording because I needed a break as well. 
and you can actually edit these and see the edits live in here so you want to turn contrast off on emissive off on lower that down okay now We want to delete the folders we no longer need. So we'll go into our public folder in the game directory data folder and then our mods project folder. So mine is the CC icons. Then we want to go into character creation, delete that one. Textures icons, delete that. Back out again. And we want to delete that. This now removes the one it generated so we can make our own custom atlas now. Data assets. Okay, let's make a new folder here. Icons. And I can copy the ones in here that are valid for my mod. Let's bring up this again. So we want to search for the visual resource. So for this it would be zero underscore head underscore copy. It might not load properly. Sometimes there's a problem loading. Yeah, okay, let's have a look. Let's see, that was F11 to get this up. Start new. Okay, that worked. Okay, let's make our custom atlas. File new. PC icons. Give it a custom name because if you're going to have a overlap between your mods you could accidentally conflict with your own icons. So we want it custom and say yes. We know what we're doing here. And let's just put it down to if it's only a few amount of heads for the mod then you don't really need it much bigger than that and they want this by 150 by 150 because our icons are 150 by 150 if that we're over that it should tell us yeah you might be saying to yourself but they're png well we can import those and thankfully for character creation we only need this texture atlas, we don't need any extra folders with our icons in them. So let's save that. Should load a little black box. Add entry icons, add them. Okay, yeah. So if you come up with this error, it's because we didn't reload our projects after deleting the generated CC icons. So we can close this, it's already been saved, and reload our project. Okay, so we've reloaded the project. We can open our icon again, yeah, Atlas, add entries. Both of them, save. And now our custom icon is there. We can see it's just slightly brighter than here. Go to the other one as well. You can see it's got the skin color that we chose for the icon. And that's how we create our CC icons. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped.